What is going on guys, Brown here, welcome back to the F1 2020 My Team Career Mode, here today for part 33 for the Austrian Grand Prix. For these episodes I'm going to try and not be as serious, but um, as I have been I think, but anyway, enough for the rambling. Um, if you do want to enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to. Um, but into Austria and in the Styrian Hills, it's the shortest track on the calendar. Um, ten corners, but realistically, there's only really nine because it counts that um, kink going up to turn two. Well, turn three, that's actually turn two. Anyone with a brain. But the grid then for the Austrian Grand Prix, Valtteri Bottas is once again on pole and he's got George next to him. Then it's Albon, Ricardo, Max Perez, we are seventh with Stroll eighth. Then it's Leclerc and Lando, Hamilton, Ocon, Vettel, Daniel Kvyat, Nick de Vries, Gasly, Magnussen, Carla Mylott, Antonio Giovinazzi, Guan Yu Zhou, Nicholas Atifi, and Carlos Sainz starting last with a 10 place grid penalty. So, before we get into the race, here's a preview of what happened in qualifying. We, um, it was raining and we decided that we don't need the track anymore and we're gonna um, change our brown GP, brown GP car into a boat and also a um, lawn mower so we didn't improve and that's why we started seventh because I got lost on the track as you could have seen there um, strategy gonna be a two stop um, because I don't really want to use the hards but anyway let's get into the race and as the five lights are on it's lights out and away we go here in the Styrian Hills, we've got a good start, we're going to go straight down the inside to do that dive bomb that we always seem to do at the start, we've gained a couple of positions we are side by side and we are up into P3, we're side by side with George Russell can we get George, can we know, we've lost out, we've gone a bit deep though and down the inside there's Daniel Ricciardo in the red, in the McLaren he has been there for a little while as we head down towards turn four and we go a little bit wide again but we've got a little gap so <clears throat> so we hopefully can pull away i think they're still side by side can't really see from this camera angle absolutely dreadful skipping on though albon did um keep ricardo behind and now he is after us as we go side by side up towards turn three and down actually is Max Verstappen and Max gets us, gets us just like he did to Charles Leclerc in 2019 but we are going to fight back like Charles Leclerc did we're on the outside we're going to try and go like Albon did to Hamilton around the outside we're still there with Max Verstappen can we get down his inside before he slams the door and tries to spin us but we can't we had a little bit of a little bit of a gap i think if we had got past there we would have had to get out of get out the track in a in a black cab to avoid the orange army down the inside that goes daniel ricardo's on, on us into turn one we're gonna sit sit in his slipstream try and go to the outside hamilton you can see behind side by side with the renault of um, Sergio Perez, we've lost out to Perez, we're side by side, Perez is pushed Hamilton in the McLaren off the, in the Mercedes off the track and now Perez can he get back ahead of Stroll, no he cannot, his former teammate has said to Ferrari trying to get past Lewis Hamilton as well as Sebastian Vettel gets past the Brits and Hamilton there has been absolutely no scoped as Perez we go down the inside of Perez because Perez had to make room for us and Perez just decided that Hamilton didn't deserve the track anymore but skipping on and um, this is a replay of what happened 
with Max Verstappen. You can see here, he just sent it down the inside. We tried to get the exit. We give him a little love tap. Um, we're going to try. Obviously, we went to the outside. We tried to send it around the outside. We actually got quite decent traction. Um, of course, Max was further on the inside, but we just didn't have the straight line speed. Tried to send it down the inside, but Max just kept his foot in, went round the outside of us. But now, here goes Daniel Ricciardo. I think this is actually still a replay. You see, we went wide, but straight over that um, sausage curb, which is very lethal around this track. Um, if you hit it right, you can you can do a little little bunny hop. But Ricardo, of course, got down our inside because of that. We tried to tuck in his slipstream, and then it all went on behind us. This camera angle not that great to show it. We broke a little bit early because we couldn't go down the inside of Ricardo. Um, that's where Perez forces Hamilton off the track, and then it all kicks off behind us, didn't it? But now skipping on, here comes Lance Stroll. He's going to try and go down the inside. We hold it around the outside. We say, no, Stroll, you're not making money out of us trying to get past us. As we go side by side, up towards turn one, there's Perez on the outside. I've got to make space for Perez. And round in a little pirouette, Stroll decides he's doing dancing on ice as he spins round and the safety car has been deployed from showing that and you can see here I couldn't do anything Stroll was um, not giving up Perez tried to go around my outside I was sandwiched in the middle so he Stroll he doesn't need to drive any for anymore he can go and dance in the nice and show his worth with the little pirouette there I couldn't do anything I couldn't I had to leave space for Perez and Stroll wasn't giving up, what do I? And I'm not going to back out of it either. So, I don't know what I was meant to do there. I can't even make a joke out of that because you can see here, this is a slow motion shot. Stroll, fair enough, he has the inside line. <clears throat> Sorry. And I tried to, tried to leave him space, but he's just like, the gap was always closing, lad, like, chill. You had so much time to back out of it, and you still went on dancing on ice. But everyone then just, like, God knows what Ocon's doing, and everyone just rammed Ocon um, up the ass, basically. And, yeah. Ocon just created a pirouette. I don't, I don't know why. He, like, he's nowhere near Stroll, who's obviously... Um, signing the contract with Dancing on Ice, like I said earlier. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what Icon's doing. Uh, maybe he's filming, filming Stroll as part of the part of the audition. I don't know. But <laughs> the safety car's out. We've pitted onto another set of the softs because. I could go to the mediums, but I'm just going to lose time. And you can see here that not many people have pitted. Like, Lando hasn't pitted. There's not a lot of people who have pitted under the safety car, apart from a few of us. There's more cars that I think, looking at that, didn't pit that have actually pitted. So, we all know that AI loves to stay out from a safety car and then pit immediately the lap after. So, we'll see though, see what they do, <laughs> see if we can get through, obviously we've got Perez in front of us because we pitted, he stayed out, so can we get past the Mexican, we've got a horrible exit there heading up towards turn two and a half, <laughs> but down the inside we go on Perez, we tried to go on Perez, we had to back out, the Alpha tried to, re tried to overtake us there, um, but we said no and slammed the door firmly in their face as we go down the inside of Perez, squeeze him out and we're up past Perez and now down the inside one lap later on the same lap down the inside of the Haas 
that was a bit brave, you know, get my gold medal from that. <laughs> and now as we head up towards, you can see we've gone into the distance. Perez gets past the Haas, it's all kicking off behind as well, between Ricardo and the Alpha. We're now heading after Stroll, and I don't know. Um, Ricardo coming out on can he's um, fighting off Magnussen, of course. You see that, and Magnussen has to give up. But it's a bit of an odd camera angle that is into the pits. Goes Perez, so it hasn't been that that long, and all the all the AI that stayed out are now deciding that. They, they want to pit, so, but we're now on the back of Stroll, and hopefully we, we can be clean this time, can we be clean, hopefully, well, we, well, we'll see, we'll, we will see, won't we, down the inside, clean this time, on Lance Stroll, no contact, you know, Is a replay on the move on Stroll. We just sent it down the inside. I wasn't messing about this time. Um, I'm not saying I meant to spin him earlier because I didn't. He just didn't back out, and I very easily could have gone straight back on there as we get very close to the Ferrari. Oh my God, that was close. That was hairs whip for seeing us in the Ferrari there. As we're now on the back of. Alex Albon and we've got Alex Albon there and we're up into P6 in this race and um, of course those pitting after the safety guys helped us out as well but also because we're doing the two stop um, we're going to fall back into them as well I'm guessing they're going to try and do the one stop or at least We'll try and do the one stop, but the safety car is out again here in Austria. I tried to extend the stint, I was just staying out. We're in P2. Of course, we're going to pit to go onto the medium compound tyres and into the pits. Pierre Gasly, I believe that. Um, As Pierre Gasly comes out onto the hards, goes um, Bottas there, and into the pits, we come to get our final, second and final stop onto the mediums. Um, with Bottas going onto the hards, I really thought that I could um, the challenge for the win, potentially, but we've got to get through everyone else. Bottas, I think, comes out back in the lead, but everyone behind him on the either the softs or the mediums, most likely mediums, of course, the mediums is a quicker tyre compared to the the, um, the hard, but Bottas leading this race, and I was kind of hoping that we could get a podium here, you know, bit of champagne, just a little bit, taste it for the... For um, the third time, the fourth time, the third time, and now going up to the line, have we got any pace on these tyres? Those in front of us are also on the mediums, um, Giovinazzi behind on the soft, so I'm guessing he stayed out, um, which I don't know what he's doing, if he, if he hadn't appeared he would have got some good points for Williams. If he has pitted rather, he's getting some good points for Williams. And we had no pace. Giovinazzi did pit. And we're on to the last lap. We were too quick for those behind. We weren't quick enough for those in front. So we were just on our own. Luckily it's a quick lap so it weren't that dull. Bottas wins and gets the fastest lap. And we round the final corner for what? is a very decent P4. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi.
smiling faces on the pit wall after a superb win here in Spielberg, and rightly so, a brilliant e Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So, it was a race filled with safety cars, it was actually a decent race, much better than France, which quite literally was a snooze fest, you know, watch the start, set your alarm and wake up at the end, sort of thing. Um, but, yeah, a lot of, what? A lot of penalties there, actually, that explains it, they all were decent, very dodgy things when Stroll spun, of course. And Lando still only on 8 points. We get another very good result. Going into our home Grand Prix next time out at Silverstone. Of course, if you've been watching my channel, I always like to do a, um, a special helmet for Silverstone. Just because it's my home Grand Prix, I like to change it just for a one-off kind of thing. So... That will be coming for Silverstone like it always is. But you can see um, against Lando, we've got all of our sponsor bonuses, which is in very good. Um, we've both taken some damage. Um, me quite a lot compared to Lando. Um, that will be come out, coming out of Lando's wages, don't worry. Um, of course, going into Silverstone, we have got a re-sign Lando. And although I just made him pay for the damage. Hopefully he does want to stay at at Brown GP and keep our all British British lineup for this season. And hopefully in the second half of the season he can he can come back a little bit because we are dominating him and with the car, I don't know if it's me dragging it up there and Lando's where his true pace is, but Lando, he is going to stay and yeah, hopefully he can pick up the pace, otherwise we may have to look elsewhere for next season, um, but we're going to do some upgrades on the durability because look at it, you can see it there, it's absolutely dreadful, um, and also on the chassis, as well but if you have enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe if you want to and i will see you for my home grand prix at silverstone goodbye